Hello there, it is Julia from Rossum Healthy and I'm going to share with you information on how you can overcome candida by eating fruit. Now for some reason fruit has got a bad reputation in the modern world. Too much fruit sugar is bad for you. Fruit causes diabetes, candida, chronic fatigue, weight problems and so forth. We heal all the time, but it's simply not true. Let me start by sharing my own personal story with you. In the past I had candida for many years and I tried everything I could to heal my candida. Now a logical thing for me to do back then was to go on an anti-candida diet which advises minimizing the consumption of fruit down to bare bones and increasing the consumption of protein. Um, and so I was following this anti-candida diet for two years. I spent a ton of money on herbs and supplements and cleanses and colonics. Nothing worked. And uh, these two years of me following anti-candida diet was simply torturous for me because I was craving fruit. You know, I was literally dreaming, believe it or not, I was dreaming of eating bananas. I wanted to eat bananas because I've always loved bananas. And of course I could not, you know, um, I, I had hyperglycemia at the time also, which is precursor to diabetes. and. After eating just a single banana, I would have to go to bed to lie down because my blood sugar was that, that much out of balance. But because I had a natural desire to make myself feel good, to improve my health and restore my health, I kept digging deeper and deeper and deeper, trying to, to search the sort of information that could provide me with an answer and could make me feel better. The, 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 the approach to diet and health that could make me feel better because my anti-candida diet was not making me feel well. I was very out of balance. Mentally, emotionally, I, I had cravings all over time and I just, I was not enjoying the food that I was eating. Well, I was very, very surprised to uncover that the anti-candida diet that I was following is actually useless and it, it, it feeds candida. Now let's talk about what candida is. Candida is a microbe, it's a form of yeast that is naturally present in the human blood. It is a backup mechanism for whenever our blood sugar level rises beyond the norm. So as soon as it rises above the normal levels of blood sugar, candida will multiply to eat the excess blood sugars. As soon as the blood sugar level is back to normal, candida also balances naturally. So the key for us to understand is not how to cure candida, but to understand what causes blood sugar imbalances in the first place. And no, it is not fruit. Blood sugar imbalances are caused by overconsumption of fat in people's diets. And regardless whether or not people follow a standard American diet or standard Western diet, whether they follow a vegetarian diet, a vegan diet, which I was following myself at the time, or a raw vegan diet, their diets can still be too high in fat. So the key is to bring the fat consumption down, to bring your fat consumption down to under 10% of your total daily calories consumed, whilst increase the consumption of your carbohydrates. Excluding fruit will not help candida, and I showed that on my own personal story, and I know a lot of people who follow anti-candida diet, what is more, they still follow anti-candida diet, and they can, their candida is still there, because they believe that anti-candida diet is a solution to candida. When I switched to a high fruit and low fat raw food diet known as the 80-10-10 diet, which we uh, follow personally and we promote, rec we recommend to others, my candida healed itself in three days. Can you imagine what it felt like for me? Prior to this, for two years, I was battling with candida unsuccessfully. You know, I was, I was really fatigued. My um, mental and emotional state was out of balance. I just, um, I was not healthy. I was feeling very, very weak. As soon as I switched to a high fruit and low fat raw food diet, within three days, my candida was balanced. I was eating all the fruits 
I could eat, literally. And you know, I starved myself of fruit sugars for two prior years, so I really made up for it. I really did. I was able to eat 10 bananas in the, at the same meal without feeling a single negative effect. And as I said before, after just one banana, I would go to bed to lie down because I, I just simply could not digest fruit sugars at all. To begin with, I excluded my avert fat completely for a week or two. So that meant um, no avocados, no nuts, no seeds. By, by that time, I already excluded oil. So there was no fatty fruit in my, um, no fatty food, sorry, in my diet at all for a week or two. And I was eating a lot of fruits. I focused on consuming fruits and um, green leafy vegetables to alkalize my body. Well, and I'm very proud to say that since then, my candida has been balanced fully. I've been on a, a high fruit and low fat raw food diet for three years. And it wasn't just my candida that balanced. It was my chronic fatigue, hormonal imbalances, emotional imbalances. Um, I was feeling energized and very vibrant. And I'm very fit, I'm very healthy. Um, I healed tons of diseases of, of the past. And I'm, I'm just like, I'm over the moon. And this is why I'm sharing this information with you. Don't go on an anti-candida diet. It's a waste of time. You do not need to invest in all the alkalizing supplements either you know you can achieve that naturally through your diet so to overcome your candida switch to a high fruit and low fat raw food diet enjoy the sweetness of life enjoy fruit fruit is good for you thanks very much for watching be healthy and see you shortly